All right, in this video, we're going to take the derivative of an exponential function um, besides the one with e. So we, if you haven't already, make sure you review the video that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So that's a really important rule we're going to use to find the derivative of um, other bases. So say we just in general want to find the derivative of any base b um, to the x power. So we can't use the power rule here. Um, because x is the exponent, the power rule only works when there's a value and number in the exponent. So to find the derivative, we are going to change the base to have a base of e, because then we can take the derivative. We know how to work with a base e. Um, so this first step isn't really any calculus. We're just going to rewrite b as e to the natural log of b. So again, e natural log, so that's log base e. So since we have e to the power of the natural log of b, that is kind of the natural log, and then e are inverse operations. When we do and undo the function, then we would get right back to b. So b equals e to the natural log of b, because they're the opposite functions. When you do and undo, you get back to where you started. Before we take a derivative, let's just simplify what this looks like a little bit to make our lives a little easier. So this is e to the product, the exponent here, is the product of x times the natural log of b. Now I'll take the derivative. To take the derivative here, I'm going to use the chain rule. So u will equal x times the natural log of b. y will equal e to the u. So what we've done now is we've rewritten everything. We started with y equals b to the x, but we've rewritten it in a way where we have two things that we know how to take the derivative of. So u equals x times the natural log of b. The natural log of b, remember b is the base, b is just a number. The natural log of b is just a number. So the derivative um, du dx is just the natural log of b because the derivative of x times a number is just the number. And then the derivative of e to the u, so dy to u, is just e to the u. And that's because that is, remember, e is the e to the x is the only derivative that is, its derivative is the function itself. All right, so now we've taken the derivative here. So we have dy dx, which equals the product of these two things. So the natural log of b times e to the u, and u was um, x times the natural log of b. Well, we'll remember way back from when we started here, um, e to the natural log of b times x was just b to the x. So we can go back kind of to the beginning here and just say that uh, this guy here is equal to b to the x, I forgot the b, b to the x. So in general, for any base, the derivative of any base to the x power is the natural log of that base times b to the x power.